Rugby and this is Jim Beglin. Cheers Peter, it's a privilege to be here, it really is. And we're underway. Oh, this is intense. They talk about it for months, they remember it for years. It matters almost too much when Barca and Real collide. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Well, a man with incredible energy levels, David Alaba. Uh, always advancing, but he's diligent in his passing and, and crosses with care. He can also smack an effort to go with that left foot. And um, he's very solid in his defensive work too. So yeah, have a look out for him. Yeah, the scourge of so many strikers. Hector Bellerin. Barcelona have a free kick. Bayerine. And out to safety. And it's Lewandowski. And that's surely a foul free kick. So, another set play. Bayerin. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. Too much on it, and that's the keepers. Lewandowski. Makes one over. Hector Bellerin fires it in low. Back out it comes. Casemiro. Back to the keeper and go again. Alaba. Midway through the first half and there's an impotence about this game that's causing me concern and, and probably most of the stadium too. Let's just hope that by the end it'll have been forgotten. Ah, that was just asking too much of his teammates by playing it in so early. Modric. Needs to get it forward quickly. Now the pass. He's picked him out. Lewandowski beats the offside trap. Firmly met. Locks it in gently. Casemiro. Daniel Carvajal. Towards the front line, and he's cut it out. Ambitious to say the least, he seems to be in a hurry to get that in. And it's long and forward. And it's Hector Berrien. Comes in hard, but he's taken enough of the ball. Don't shell pass, that's the message there. Tries a through ball, aim forward. Locks it towards the front. Passes it through. Modric gets it, and now what? Goal! Real Madrid! And Real Madrid are ahead! And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things. Just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. It does look promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Aimed long and direct. Alaba positions him 
himself well and cuts it out. Modric plays it out to the flank. Looks like a good ball through. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Pumps it upfield. The referee brings the first half to a close. Not the most convincing of displays. They could certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence, and not rush into mistakes. I think they've got to go out at the start of this second half now and set a tone that smacks of intent and determination. Should they manage it, I think they can find a way back. Cooks out to the wing. Jordi Alba. Pumps it forwards. Sergio Busquets. He goes long. Cross deflected behind for a corner. Tries a header. That's a half decent try. Oh, he couldn't have hit that any better. Any other time, it would have sneaked in. Well won, that's good play. Daniel Carvajal. What a throw in. Out to the flank. Done very well to intervene. The shot's on! He's done very well to get to that. Well, I can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order, Peter. That was very good to watch. Oh, that's great stuff from him. It's tremendous play on his part, Peter, and he's proving to be a, a right handful throughout the game. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Oh, stitch defending, but that'll do. Who's going to make this theirs? Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, that's that's true. And is that how you're seeing it? Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's uh, it's where the room is. Tons one through here. Modric! Chance again? No. Yeah, they, they should be out of sight. And they're not because of uh, a little sloppiness in front of goal. When he struck that, he must have thought it was going in. Such are the margins of success and failure in this game. That was so close. Barcelona, look as though they're about to make a change. Casemiro gets it back. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Swung over, and that's been repelled. Looks to slip it through. No, it's Benzema. Just the goalkeeper to beat. It's anyone's ball. Attempt. Wrong outcome. 
Oh, listen, I think you can understand at times that the pace of the game pressures players into split-second decisions and sometimes they just make the wrong one and I think he would have been better placing that. Modric. Spoon forward. Real Madrid have just about everyone back and central. Yeah, clearly they're trying to show strength. Yes, it's there! Barcelona are back in business. What about that, Jim Begley? Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. That has certainly made things interesting. Barcelona surely know by now that they've put so much work into producing the equaliser that they'll battle on for a winner. You know, it's, it's all one-way traffic for them now, and they simply have to capitalise on it. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. There could be trouble here. And now the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Boots it upfield. Daniel Carvajal drives forward with purpose. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. The referee's awarded a free kick. And the ref's been lenient here. Yeah, they'll get too many more chances. Who's going to make this theirs? Flying in. There will be four extra minutes. Uh, the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Modric. Forward it goes. Pumps it upfield. And that's it. Nothing to separate them. It is penalties. Well, I don't think either manager can have any complaints really because nobody quite pushed for the winning goal and it always lacked that spark. So they prepare themselves to settle it from the spot. here then as the first man readies himself they could really do with scoring the first penalty oh he's missed it he's hit the post and the keeper knew he was beaten so what a bonus That's great concentration from the keeper and a wonderful save. So, the second man in line. Well, it's never easy to step up and take the penalty, but he slotted that home with authority. So, the second man in line. Nicely into the corner. He just did what he was asked. The third man in the queue. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. And stepping up, the skipper. It's a keeper 
rooted to the spot. Oh, that was a great strike. He just gave the keeper absolutely no chance. He steps up to take the fourth penalty. Oh, he's hit the upright. Oh, I feel for him. It looked like placement precision. Modric comes up, their fourth taker. Good penalty, just steered it the other way. Good penalty, completely wrong footed the keeper. Barcelona must score here to stay in it. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper, and he guessed wrong. Ter Stegen obliged to stop this to keep them alive. And there it is, the decisive kick. So in the end, heartbreak, a few of them inconsolable. And this is what footballing fate had stored up for them. It is nasty. Thoughts on what we've just seen? Yeah, defeat in, in any of these type of games is, is the ultimate disappointment. You can't fault the effort and the endeavour we saw, but they probably just lack a, a little adventure and not enough ambition in their play, and ultimately I think they paid the price. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.